Well, good afternoon. So glad that we could have uh, some time together once again. Um, it is uh, good to be with you. Uh, just a reminder of uh, a few things going on. Again, Bible study this afternoon at 1.30. Uh, Bill is going to lead that uh, over at the church here at Sundall. Um, confirmation is happening tonight if we have any confirmation parents on here. Um, as well as we have worship on Sunday, 9 a.m. at Ottawa, 11 o'clock at Sundall. Uh, I thank Bill for uh, leading that as well. And then Saturday is the spaghetti uh, to go uh, meal. Uh, so I invite you to look at the announcement on Facebook. If you have any questions, uh, contact Joan uh, Huso uh, and she will uh, answer those for you, get things lined up uh, and ready to go. Uh, I hope uh, you were all able. It took me a couple attempts yesterday to get uh, yesterday's uploaded, but we managed to get there. So I hope you had a chance to to take some time and um, uh, listen to uh, yesterday's devotion. So for today, I chose a passage uh, from Ezekiel uh, chapter 11, verse 19. It says, I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them, I will remove from them their hearts of stone and give them a heart of flesh. It, um, before we accepted Christ, before we all kind of became uh, a child of God, really, our hearts were very hardened. They were um, they weren't open to the Holy Spirit being uh, to be led by the Holy Spirit. But now that God has given us uh, new tender hearts because we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, it gives us new guidance. And so I think God has. Uh, truly made us sensitive to his touch and to his wants to and and wants to lead us then to things that are good for us. For instance, spending time with him, spending time in uh, his word, spending time in song, in prayer. But he doesn't he doesn't want us to turn our devotional time. Uh, in essence, this time or our time uh, in other ways into a law, so to speak, like believing that we have to pray for, say, 15 minutes a day, or we have to read our Bible for 20 minutes, or we speak his word out loud for 10 or follow other formulas and, and things like that. Because then as, as soon as we start seeing things as laws and rules, all that joy is drained out, right? All the the joy that we have um, is is hardened, and we become exhausted. So my hope, I think, out of this text from Ezekiel, again, I'll read this to you. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their hearts of stone and give them a heart of flesh. I think part of that wants me to, to really just, I want to be encouraged, and I want to encourage you to, to keep a tender heart, to let God lead you in your daily walk with him, in your daily time in scripture, in prayer. And if you do that, you won't be hardened. You won't be, you'll be, you'll be alive in him. The Holy Spirit is the most creative person ever. And he'll keep, he'll keep you and your devotional time fresh and exciting. I think we need to spend time in God's word. We need to spend time time in praying, in reading, in hearing, in worshiping, but we can't make it so structured 
that we just become this person of this is how I have to do it. If I don't have this amount of time, then I can't be devoted because you can. Let the spirit move you. There are times that I sit down, I start reading the, the Bible and I find half hours gone by. Or there are times I sit down and I hear one or two verses and that is enough to fill me for the day. And the same with prayer. So I hope that that, that will resonate in you today. That we have hearts that are not hardened by Christ. They're not hearts of stone, but a heart that can be open to him. Open to his love, open to his word. So I invite you in your time, not to make it a routine, so to speak, but just to find time to study God's word, to hear God's word, maybe to sit down and sing some songs or play back a worship service or something of that nature. But just be open to Christ. Let Christ be in you and the Holy Spirit will move through you. Would you pray with me? Good and gracious God, we thank you for giving us the ability to worship you, to study your word, to be ever present in you. Continue to give us those hearts that seek you. I want to be with you. Father God, I, I, I raise up to you anyone who is struggling with knowing who your son is. Maybe they've come across this devotion for the first time, don't know who Jesus is. I just ask that the Holy Spirit move in them that they know they are loved. God, we come to you as sinners and ask for your forgiveness. Make us good stewards of the church. Make us disciples in you. Give us hearts that love and care. We can show compassion to one another. Keep us free in the freedom of sin and open to new life. And where we hurt God, we just ask that you heal. That you heal bodies, minds, and spirits. God, we lift to you those who struggle, whether they're struggling financially or emotionally. Just ask that you be in their life, God. That you continue to raise them up and hold them close. Father God, we continue to pray for those affected by the virus. Make those frontline workers know that they have you by their side. May those that are infected be healed. Take away pain, take away fevers, take away anxiety. Most of all, God, just be with your people. Hear what's on their hearts. 
feel what's in their soul. May we know and continue to know that you are our risen God. A God of love and compassion. A God who sent his son to take away our sin. And may we continue to ever praise him. We ask all this in your son's name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that uh, you are able to get to Bible study today or you are able to get to worship this weekend. I miss you dearly. Um, and uh, I will be back in the swing of things next week. Um, but know that I am here. No matter what you have going on, reach out to me. I may not be able to be at Bible study with you or confirmation or worship right now in this time, but I am here. I'm here for you. As I know you are there for me. And I am grateful for that. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. May God wrap his arms around you. And until we see each other again, bye for now.